Hey everyone, this is Scott from certmedia.com. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the new Bing plugin known as the Bing URL submissions plugin. I'm gonna be walking you through the setup of the plugin. I'm gonna be talking about what it is, what it's for, and I'll briefly mention how it compares to Google SiteKit plugin, but this is an entirely different solution. So we're gonna to have to talk about why it matters and kind of the direction that search engines will be taking and why this is a very important plugin that you'll probably want to add on your website, even if you have an XML sitemap. So let's just jump right into the plugin and talk about it. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and install the Bing URLs submission plugin. It's currently got around 3,000 active installs, last say three days ago. It does say that it's working with the latest WordPress version and it's tested up to 5.5, which is not out yet. So as it mentions here, to automate the Bing URL submissions, you're gonna to have to verify your WordPress website with Bing Webmaster Tools and you're gonna to go and get a bunch of nonsense. We are just gonna go ahead and install it and I'm gonna walk you through it. You just look for Bing URL submission, it will be the first plugin that appears. You're gonna install and activate it. After you activate it, you're going to get this lovely little settings panel. And as I mentioned here, you're gonna to need to add your API key to get started. And if you click here, it's gonna tell you you need to go to Bing Webmaster Tools and we're gonna sign in and we're just gonna try and see if I have an easy account that I can sign into. Okay, so now that we're here, we do need to verify the domain. So just click add a website. You could choose to import it from Google Search Console if you wish. However, we're just going to paste the URL in for mine solely because this is a staging domain that's gonna get deleted anyways. So I'm gonna copy my URL as you're supposed to. Add the domain. It's gonna click adding. And then it's just gonna go ahead and it's gonna make you do the standard installation process for adding your website to Bing. It will take a little bit or a lot of bit today. One thing you gotta get Bing props on is their admin panel looks so good now compared to Google's search console in my opinion. Adding, all right, it wants us to add it. We're just gonna grab this method here just because I don't have any other way. If you have Yoast SEO, you can you paste the code into Yoast SEO settings since this is a staging domain. I'm just gonna grab insert headers and footers, paste the text, uh, the verification code in the header and be done with it. This is all necessary, by the way, if you just want to be able to set this plugin up. It has to be verified in Bing, and then you have to be able to get the API key for it. It's kind of a slight hassle because it's Bing, uh, which honestly kind of sums up Bing in a very harsh way, is it's kind of a hassle. It says it is not found. Gotta love it. All right, so we'll go ahead and just see if maybe Cloudways is caching it. It shouldn't because nobody visits this website and it was disabled, but you know, you never know with Cloudways. We'll log into my Cloudways instance real quick so we can purge the varnish cache on the server. Managing services. You just, you gotta give, this is the joys of working with Cloudways, guys, it is very frustrating. Okay. Purged. Let's try it again, Bing. Please just work today. What do you mean? I pasted it over here. Hmm. There it goes. All right, now we have our newly listed thingy website. WordPress, Cloudways, apps. So you've got your website verified in Bing. It's a great, lovely thing to have. Now you have to get your API key. The API key is never in a lovely spot. I really wish that they just use OAuth just like Google. Google, what you do is on SiteKit, you install it, you log into your Google account. It does all of this for you. Uh, but no, with Bing, we naturally have to go through a slightly less enjoyable set up. So the Bing API key should be under your settings panel here. You go to the API access and you need your API key. We're gonna generate the API key and we're going to copy it. And I should just be able to copy it into this lovely window, hit the enter key and it should work in theory. 
But like all things, because it's Bing, I have to jump through a few more hoops, it looks like. This is the problem that I have with working with Bing, is nothing is ever easy. Okay. We have Bing. So the way that Bing URL submission works is it has an automatic functionality. The auto functionality says you publish a new post or a new page, it will automatically force that to go to Bing. You only have a limited number that you can do a day. As you can see, my quota left for the day is 10, which is not a lot. Uh, this is still gonna be the future of submission though. I wholeheartedly believe that. I don't know why my quota is so low. Maybe I have to verify or go through some extra hoops for Bing. But what's great about this is you can either use the auto suggestion or you can go ahead and do a manual submit. So if you wanna manually submit your URL, you're able to do so here. You'll copy the URL to whatever page you want to be indexed. Remember, it has to actually be indexable in the first place and Bing will go ahead and fetch it. So if I grab this, I'm gonna paste its URL in here. I'm gonna hit the verify thing and then it's going to submit it. As it mentions here, it will give you the URL that you choose to submit. It will then give you a timestamp of when the submission was processed, and it will give you the status of the submission to let you know whether it was success or failed. A failed submission can be a couple of things. Number one, the URL could just not be indexable, or the URL did not respond timely enough, so it timed out. Or it could be even be an issue with the Bing API. And it works pretty well from my testing. The only thing that was a minor headache is the setup process. It's not easy enough for the average user. Bing should seriously consider working on the setup process. I do not understand the logic of the user having to jump through the default Bing setup process, which is just like Google, except without pre-site kit. And then you have to go and fetch your API key. And then I have a weird quota of only 10 a day, which seems a little low. This is not a very good number. Uh, I know some websites that push out five posts a day. They're news websites, Matt News Magazine affiliate type websites, which isn't even that much in a lot of industries. So I think that URL may be an issue of my account side, or it could be well, or just a default limitation for now to see how the API holds up. Um, overall, though, this plugin afterwards is pretty automatic. So what you can do is if you want to edit anything, if you want to update your IP, API key, you hover over the triple dots, but you can modify the automated URL submission. You can basically have it on or off. <laughs> it's overall just fairly frustrating. I'm not going to lie. I do wish that Bing maybe said you can only do it for some, for a specific post type. Because frankly, what's going to happen is, is you're going to run to your quota if you're updating your website a lot that same day. The quota resets on a daily basis, but 10 a day, if you're making a lot of rapid changes or a lot of new content right away, is going to cause you some headache. I'm also going to say this right now that you should not set this up if you're just installing and setting up your website. The reason I say that is if you're installing demo content and whatnot, it could automatically get submitted and then you've used up all your API uh, quota for the day. But, when it's working on a website that exists and is just not getting their content submitted faster or timely at all, this is an excellent plugin. This works so well that I wish SiteKit did the exact same thing. Now we need to talk about real quick why this exists. So as you should know, sitemaps tend to get your content by following an XML sitemap. An XML sitemap is basically just a fancy file that you send to the search engine and it lists all the URLs that you say exist on the website that you want it to show. The benefit here is that it now doesn't need to just recrawl your website and guess or having to follow external links to it to figure out whether the content should be indexed. It has a nice little file that it can go through and it can read to index new content. But the problem with that is exactly that as well. The problem with the next XML site app is for very large websites, content tends to not get updated. It may not get it's updated because there's so much content. So let's just say you have a thousand posts or pages on your website. You update a post from 
three years ago because it was a form of evergreen content. Evergreen content is just a fancy way of saying this content was, it's new, it's, it, it's always relevant. Like if you write content on how to delete Windows registry files, the Windows registry hasn't changed fundamentally in many years, so it can still be evergreen content even five years down the line. The problem though is, is typically with sitemaps, if you don't move it up to be on the newest sitemap or it's not in its on the highest location, it may not get indexed right away even at the last modified time was updated. That's because the crawler still has to read that entire sitemap and it's very inefficient. If you have a thousand URLs in one sitemap file, it still has to, it has to download that file, check the entire file, read if anything was marked as updated, and then check the URL. With this, it just gets told from the website directly that, hey, this content was updated, or this is a brand new post, and it just beams it over there, which is so much more efficient than relying on a sitemap. This is actually a very genius idea, and I do hope that Google implements something similar, but for the time being, at least Bing has done it. I'm also just gonna flat out say this right now, there is absolutely zero reason for Bing Webmaster to be its own top level item in the WordPress admin panel. Uh, it's there and at least follows the WordPress core styling of admin menus. It's not using any weird colors, it's using a default icon that's an SVG instead of it being colorized. The problem with it though is it's top level. Top level items should only be things that are actively going to be used Frequently, the Bing Webmaster URL submission tool is basically just a URL submission tool. It's automatic in basis, and you don't need to be doing manual submissions that much. Because if you were going to be doing manual submissions a lot, you were probably doing it through the standard Bing website or the search console for Google's manually all this time anyways. So, the plugin needs some cleanup. Fundamentally, it's not perfect. Uh, I just want that menu moved to the settings panel. If it was just moved to the settings panel or it offered more, Google Site Kit does work as a top level one because it has analytics data. It has, it has analytics, it has your revenue data, it has everything in one panel. That is a worthy top level item. This is not, this is fundamentally not. If they put it under settings or if they're looking to expand the feature set, then yes, I could see that being useful. Or if it kind of rebranded instead of the being the Bing URL submission plugin as the Bing Webmaster, that, that would work just fine. I think that that would be a worthy branding because then you would expect other functionality, sort of the analytics importing that you get with Google Site Kit. Overall, fine plugin, you should install it if you're actively using Bing and getting traffic from it. That way it just beams your content over. Only do it on your established websites. Do not do it on your demo websites and you'll be just fine. And that was everything you need to know about the Bing URL submission plugin. I do think that this is kind of the direction search engines are going to be taking in the near future. Because by default, XML sitemaps, while they've been around forever, they're not the most efficient means of getting your website updated or telling a search engine, hey, I have a new post. The problem with XML sitemaps is websites that get updated infrequently, or at least not in a regular schedule, they tend to just not get their post indexed for a while. Case in point, on one of my hobby sites I updated, I added a blog post, and it was like a few days that I had noticed, and it wasn't in Google search, so I manually copied the URL and went into search console, pasted it, and told it to go and index it, but that's kind of the problem. If you stop working on a website for a while, and then you just add a new post, it could take several days before the search engine knows to index that post. The Bing URL submission plugin does alleviate that issue, at least for Bing, because it says, hey, this URL is new, brand new, or it was recently updated. That's another important part. And it will just say, you need to update this. And then Bing's like, okay, cool. So I'll just throw it in my queue. It's basically the exact same concept as going into like Google Search Console and pasting your URL and saying, request indexing, but it does it from a WordPress plugin, which just makes this plugin invaluable for websites that maybe you're getting most of your traffic from Bing. I've never seen it happen personally, but sometimes some websites do perform better in Bing. Maybe Google will add their own plugin that kind of does the same thing. SiteKit doesn't seem to have this functionality. Maybe they'll add it in the future or something similar, but 
I'm very glad to see that Bing is at least leading the marketing in something right now. But if you do have any questions, you can ask in the comments below and I will try to help you out the best I can. The plugin's extremely passive after you've installed it. But as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.